guys, welcome back to Safety Zone. Today we're going to be doing new system test six with my Simplex 4006. So let's get started. So obviously we have the same panel, same battery, same all that, but there are some changes in the notification appliances and the pull stations as well. So let's go over those right now. So up here we do have, this is a returning device. This is the this is the one I used in my first system test with this panel. This is the Simplex um, 4903-9418, I believe. Then right here, this one you've seen in my SOP 2402 tests, we have my 4904-9176. This is a fixed 15 candela remote strobe and it is actually selectable. However, it is obviously set on smart sync for this test. And then obviously that doesn't change since I do not have another alarm with an amber strobe on it. Then down here, we have the same smoke detectors and all that. We have my 499-9001 T-bar. And then we have both my ESC pole stations. This one, it, these were both addressable originally. However, they have had their modules removed. So let's get started with it. So first thing I'm going to do is actually pull the T-bar. Here we go. Hold on. Not me to silence it that quick. But as you can see, they are in sync. Um, let's try something else, actually. Let's do the i3. There we go. This one is actually kind of loud. I did, I do, I literally have tape on in the inside. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. Oh yeah, you can see it from the single. It's still pretty loud. So now, what should we do next? Hmm. You know what? I've never key activated on this series before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to key activate this one right here. There we go. There we go. Then let's reset that and then close it. There we go. If you're wondering what this is, in case you haven't seen another system test, this basically powers the voice controller, the i3, and the Sega 2PS. This was a laptop charger, by the way, it's just converted. I would normally use the auxiliary power, however, this specific device right here requires 16 and 21 volts so that would definitely put it over that range so i just use this one instead this one outputs 19. so yeah let's hmm yeah let's just actually i don't know if i want to do that one yet um I'll save that one for the walk test later. Um, oops, did not mean to drop that. Let's... There we go. There we go. Remove that. Um... And then that's, so it's straight. There we go. This one technically is a single use 
Call point, however, I did make some slight modifications to this piece, so it should be reusable. There we go. Now let's reset the T-bar. Let me get my B key out here. Right there. There we go. And this one does not reset automatically since it's just being powered off of that. So I'm gonna need to turn it off, do this with it, and then it should reset. There we go. Now let's reset the panel. And then next we're going to do a walk test and we're also gonna test this thing right here. There we go. So I'm going to do a walk test now. I forgot if I'm still logged in. Oh yeah, I am. So walk test on signal. When you do walk test, it usually does give a trouble on basically every panel in the world. So let's actually key activate the T-bar now. Oops, that's my notifier, notifier key. The, it's weird, the notifier key is actually do fit, they just won't turn it. There we go. So that's pretty cool, a pretty cool feature of Simplex. It'll go once for zone one, twice for like, for zone two and so on and so on. Pretty nice feature. And then let's key activate this one. Actually, we can normal activate that, this one actually. This one is kind of beat up, so sometimes it handles a little funny. There we go. There we go. Let's see. I normally would do smoke detectors. However, my tests, I do have to use my testing spray, so I have no idea how it's gonna work on a walk test. And keep in mind that one does not reset automatically. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that one. But we'll find out. I will do, um, that down a sec. Um, I'll do the 2151 since that one will actually reset. Hopefully it'll trigger soon. I forgot what zone this is on. This is zone nine. Oh boy. This one might be loud. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna activate. It's not, I guess we should just do this one since this one will only go six times. There we go. Now it should activate for sure. There we go. Apparently if you remove it, it goes into trouble. Didn't realize that. And I also didn't realize it would go continuous. Oops, don't know what I dropped there, but oh well. Now let's take it out of lock test. There we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe if you're new. And anyways, I will see you later. Good.